Hey you. Hey. Want some caps? You want to know a way to get some caps? Well, I'll let you in on my method. It doesn't require you to craft a bunch of helmets you probably don't even have the plans for, and it doesn't involve grinding cap stashes. My method could help you get your daily cap limit of 1400 caps and a chance at some legendary loot. Keep in mind this is my method that works for me. If it works for you too, awesome. If not, uh, that sucks. This will not be a glitch, so if you were hoping it was, sorry. Sorry you have to play the game like a normal person. With that being said, let's get into it. So essentially, the everyday player has a chance to make 1400 caps from vendors across Appalachia a day. Although, you'll spend around 50 to 100 caps by fast traveling. What I've always done to get my 1400 caps a day since beta was travel to the White Springs Golf Club. For those who are familiar with the golf club, there you will find hordes of ghouls who usually drop legendary loot often, which was always a great location to farm. But did you also know that here is where you can get the golf skirt and golf outfit? Now you may be thinking to yourself, uh, Jersey, who cares? Well, did you know that if you have the Hard Bargain card equipped and maxed out to rank 3, that the price of these items rise to 25 caps when being sold to a vendor? Now some of you may be thinking, okay, and there are other outfits in the game that sell for more caps at a vendor. To which I'd reply, yes, but are they as plentiful and easy to find? The golf skirt and outfit in this location are usually found in clusters of 3 to 5 if no one has taken them already. Once you've grabbed any you've seen around, you can easily just server hop and see if the next server has some more available to you. If you end up in a server that has none, I don't consider it a waste of time since you'll spawn in more ghouls, which could then provide you with some more legendary items to loot. Or extra aid items you can also end up selling to meet the quota as well. You can also find these outfits in the other houses behind the golf clubs scattered around, so be sure to check those out if you'd like. I just mainly stick with the golf club. So with 1400 caps being the max you can get a day when draining out the vendors, and the golf outfits selling for 25 caps a piece with the bargain perk card maxed out, 26 if you decide to pop a great mentat like I did, you'll only need to collect 56 of them. Which sounds like a lot, but as I stated before, they come in clusters most times, so it wouldn't take that long to gather that many, plus they're basically weightless. Another upside when looking for these outfits to sell is while you're clearing out the ghouls to get them, not only do you have a chance at legendaries like I stated before, but a chance at some spare caps you can often loot from ghouls' bodies, which can add up. I just wanted to take time to share my method with you guys because some of the videos about how to get caps seemed ridiculous and a waste of time and or resources. I felt this way you'd be benefiting from it one way or another with an opportunity to have some extra caps in your pocket. If you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content like this in the future. Got a method that works for you or could be better? Feel free to comment it down below to help your fellow vault dwellers out. And until next time guys, peace.